Hi everyone! Today we will talk about factors of production and we will fo specifically focus on capital and land. So when we talk about factors of production, we mean all the inputs, all the resources needed for the production of goods or services. For example, take a house. When we construct a house, we need workers, we need materials like a stone, wood, we need water, we need machineries. All of them are called factors of production because they are the resources that's used in the production process. We can categorize these factors of production into four, being land, labor, capital, and enterprise. For example, in case of house construction, we talked about machinery. Machinery can be categorized under the capital. We also talk about worker. It goes to the labor. We also talked about materials. It goes to the land. Today, we will focus on land and capital. The land does not only include the surface, so it is literal meaning. It also includes what is above and what is below the land. So basically, it includes all the natural resources used in the production process. If you use oil or water, stone or other materials, natural materials in your production process, it can be categorized under the land. On the other hand, capital is human-made. Capital includes all inputs used in the production which are human-made, which is not natural. For example, machinery, equipment, car, uh, different, you know, instruments that are human-made are categorized under the capital. So whenever you are in the test and you confused, you don't know whether the resource belongs to capital or land, think about whether it is natural or human-made. If it is natural, it goes to the land. If it is human-made, it goes to the capital. So once you know this difference, you can easily identify whether input belongs to capital or belongs to land. In the next session, we will talk about labor and enterprise, and we will mention the difference between them.